Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another mystery unboxing. Ooh, it's been a little while since I've done a mystery unboxing. And uh, most most likely it's because I haven't really gotten anything that would be a mystery, I guess. I mean, I got packages in the past, but they wouldn't be amazing mysteries, I guess. They would be, you know, games that just recently released or limited run games. So, you know, if I give you a hint, it would be immediately... You know, it'd be obvious what I got. Be like, this is a limited run game. Oh, you just got the last limited run game that came out. So I didn't really get anything recently that was worthy of a mystery unboxing. I don't even remember what my last one was. But this one is definitely worthy because, uh, as you know, I traded in a lot of shit last weekend to GameStop so I could have enough GameStop credit to maybe get the PlayStation VR. Maybe, I say maybe because I don't know if I'll be able to get it because I didn't pre-order it. Um, but I have faith. I got Pokemon Go Plus. I walked into GameStop and they had one. Uh, I got my PlayStation 4 when it first came out, even though I didn't have a pre-order. And I got it like a day or two after it came out. You know, that was because of Amazon, not GameStop. But, you know, I got lucky. I got lucky. So I'm crossing my fingers. I'm crossing my fingers that this time I, you know, do, do the tic-tac-toe board win. You know, I get the third one. Does that make sense? I get the turkey. There you go. That's better. That's big. Uh, that, I was about to say baseball. That's bowling. Um, that, that's a three strikes, right? Ah, fuck it. I don't care. Anyway, so what I have here is some of the stuff I bought from GameStop.com with some of that credit. Now, I had extra credit. Overall, I sold a good, like, $620 of stuff almost. I think it was, like, more like $615, but I think I'm just going to round it off and say $620 because I think it was maybe, like, $6. It might have been like 618 or something, I don't remember. Um, so I sold a good amount of stuff. So I actually had way extra credit, like way more extra credit than uh, I needed for the PlayStation VR. So I did buy some stuff, and this is the first three things that came from GameStop.com. Now, I'm actually in the hole at this point. I only have like 400 and I think like $40, so I do need $60 more for the PSVR. But I have a feeling that some of these things are not going to be... Uh, it, it are not going to be in top quality and what probably won't have the case. I, I'm going to assume that most of this stuff will not have the case. I was actually lucky, lucky. Yesterday I did get a package from GameStop.com and it was, um, uh, you know, let me show you. Give me one second. I'm not prepared. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a copy for $4.50 of this game, Black College Football The Experience. I actually got it in the case, which I was surprised. And I actually got a second copy that didn't come in the case. So I got two copies. Um, this one didn't come in the case. But this one did in brilliant quality. The reason why I got that is because that game, for some reason, this game goes for like $25, $30 on eBay. So I got two copies. I'll probably try to sell those. Um, so, so I'm crossing my fingers that these games that I got here will be in top quality. So you know what? Let's start off with the first... Not the box, but let's start off with this. This one. Alright, make sure I didn't show anything. Yeah, whatever. Uh, hopefully I can return these to a GameStop store. I did that last time. I got something from the online portion. But this is... A lot of this stuff I, I, I didn't mention. And it'll probably say it in the... Uh, the title's down here. I keep forgetting that. Uh, it's been so long since the title was up here. You think I fucking remember it. It's down here now. But um, you probably see it in the title that uh, it's, it's a lot of retro stuff. And, you know, retro, like Xbox Original, GameCube, you know, and that's not really retro. <laughs> I don't think it's retro. It's a, it's only a few years away. It's not that real retro. Come on. But they consider it retro. I'm going to go open this. Well, you know, I'm just going to rip it up. <laughs> rip it up. Baby, rip it up. So I got some good stuff. Hopefully it comes with the original case. So here's the first one. I'm going to slowly pull it out. Uh, oh, it came with the original case. All right, what is it? Oh, this game I really, really wanted, okay? I'm not going to do the the uh, like the hints thing that I usually do for my mystery unboxing where I give you like a couple hints so you can guess what it is because these are really obscure old games. Oh, that was just a hint. That was a hint. I said these games are obscure. You know why? Because I got a game called Obscure. <laughs> obscure on Xbox. This game, they're only selling for like 13 bucks. This usually goes for around 25 complete. 
And this game on PS2 goes for way more. But for Xbox, I'll take it for Xbox because this is a game I remember playing when it first came out. It was a budget title when it first came out. It was 20 bucks, And of course, if I just bought that game when it first came out. I rented it. I didn't buy it. But if I bought that game when it first came out, I decided never to play it on PS2. Uh, it would be worth a good like a hundred and something dollars now. Brand new. Um, but sadly, I did not. And now I have the Xbox version, which... It's a pretty nice copy. I'm surprised the first one I pulled out was... Oh, it's not complete. It doesn't have the manual. That's fine. I'll keep it either way. Really, I just want the original case. That's almost complete. But let me see the disc. Oh, no. The disc is nice. The, di the disc? I don't think you can tell. Disc is nice. Oh, my hair's all messed up. Wait, hold on. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. All right, that's good. All right, here we go. <laughs> obscure. I got obscure. I got this shit. All right. Next one is a box. I have a feeling this is just going to be one game, which makes me confused. They came from a bunch of different GameStops. Usually, that's how GameStop works it, um, uh, where they, if they have something in a different store somewhere else, they'll ship it from there to wherever I live or whatever. So, I might be getting stuff from Florida or, I don't know, Texas or... Oh, this one actually came from Texas. Where did this one come from? This one came from Texas as well. But where did this uh, last package I just unboxed came from? Because obviously it's from somewhere different. No, it came from Texas. They all came from Texas. But there's times where they do come from different places. Um, I guess that makes sense that these all came from Texas because I got all these the same day. Um, I still have packages I haven't gotten yet. Like the black college football, I'm sure that came from somewhere different. Um, but anyway, because I order all these pretty much the same day, except two. Two of them I didn't order the same day. So, Alright. Two I just ordered yesterday. So, those probably won't come until, I think it said October 3rd, which I think is only Monday, so that's not too far off. Um, Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, oh, yeah, this one came with the original, co the original case. But I don't know what it is. I just saw GameCube. Ah. Oh. Mwah! Perfect. I'm so happy that this came with... Here's the return slip. I'm so happy this came with the original case. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm actually getting a little worried. I'm not, I, I might not have anything to return. This game is something I've been wanting. The case itself is a little dirty, but I could switch it out. Let me see if it's complete. It's not. But still, this is something I've been wanting for so long. This is an amazing game. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. I, I might keep this. I'm not sure. It, is com it isn't complete. But this game always fluctuates around $35 to $40. I've seen it go for like $28, $30 as well. But th those aren't complete. Um, and this, this isn't complete either. But it's not really considered loose when you have the case and all that. It just doesn't have the manual, sadly. Um... Which I guess is a positive for nowadays, <laughs> if you think about it. Like now, with new games, you don't get a manual. Maybe that's a good thing, because that'll never drop those games in value, because they never had a manual to begin with. But Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, one of my favorite, favorite games. I played it when I was younger, and it, it, it scared me bad. Uh, sadly, I heard about all the uh, things it would do to you, like fuck with your... TV and stuff. I heard ahead of time. It still scared me sometimes because it would happen when when things were already creepy. I was like, I don't want it to go back. Like if my TV would go out, it'd say like AVI out or whatever. And then I'll be like, no, don't go back. I don't want to go back because <laughs> I always thought right when the screen would come back, oh, this disc is like perfect. I'm assuming they probably refurbished some of them. I can't really tell. But um, I would always be afraid if it came back, there'd be like a bunch of ghouls or something floating deadhead man people um, but the case I don't know if you could tell but it's, it's pretty dirty and there's some sticker residue there I think I'll probably keep this one this this and obscure are the two that I really wanted to keep so whatever's in this box better be really nice because I might have to return this one I think I might know what this one is yeah I think I know what this one is it's my if I if I'm correct this is a Xbox original game I think I ordered these, this one in the same order as those over there. Because I ordered all these at the same time, but I did it in different orders. Because I was like, alright, that's good, I, I got a few things. And then I looked again at the retro section, I was like, fuck, I want that too! And so I had to do another order. Alright. 
All right. Ah, uh, this one is only. These are all right. This is getting returned. Ah, oh, that sucks too. Damn it. Fuck. All right. So, all right. So far, it's been pretty good, but this one only comes with the disc, and this is really sad because I forgot this is actually one that I really want. Um, it came in a baggie. Like, this is sadly they had this for pretty cheap. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes, both discs in these. So this will get returned, sadly. I really wanted these, actually. I mean, obviously not enough to remember I wanted them earlier when I said those are the only two I wanted, but <laughs> whatever. Um, that sucks. So, Twin Snakes, I got this for cheap. They, they were only like $27, I think, for the game. And the game usually ranges from like 40 to 50 I think sometimes I saw it for go, uh, go for more. Um, so that sucks. So that, sadly, that's not getting added to the collection. But um, it will be getting added back to my trade account balance. So I will get closer to that PSVR. Um, hopefully I can return these to GameStop. I, I, let me check real quick. Return slip here. Return policy. It must be postmarked within 30 days of shit unopened. Eh. Open new games. Blah, blah, blah. Original packaging blah, blah, blah. must be returned or exchanged in original condition with all packaging and content. Store policy may vary to return merchandise to our warehouse. Use the return label. I might have to ship them back, which will suck. They better... Hmm. Actually, no. This is a return slip, right? So they shouldn't have to... No, this is just a packing slip. Yeah. I might have to pay for shipping. Yeah, whatever. I'll pay the cheapest fucking shipping I can. <laughs> and they better reimburse me. Because I paid for shipping for this. Okay? I paid for shipping. And I, I never pay for shipping. Amazon... And Best Buy, I don't pay for shipping. Okay? The only time I pay for shipping is limited run games. And that's only because they make me. And GameStop makes me, obviously. So, even with the free... The free shipping. You know? I still have to pay some money. So, because of the, of the handling charge. Which is bullshit. But, um... <laughs> free shipping, but handling costs money. What the fuck? Anyway, just say it's shipping. Don't lie to me. A message for you. Thank you for it. We appreciate business. Yeah, return label. I don't know. That's it. There's no barcode on it, so yeah, I'll probably have to. Um, there's no receipt either, so yeah. I guess they're pretty much telling me if I want to return it, get off your fat fucking ass and <laughs> return it to a post office. All right, well, that sucks. All right, well, out of the three, two of them I am keeping. I'm keeping these two. I'll think about this one more because maybe in the future I may want to try to get a complete edition. So maybe I will return this. I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell it. Who knows? But um, Obscure I'm definitely keeping because this is a nice copy. They're both nice copies. I just switched this case out and that will be perfect. Uh, well, not perfect. It doesn't have the case. I mean the manual, but whatever. So anyway, there you go. Two good ones and two disappointing ones. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? They didn't even give me a GameStop case. They just said, fuck it, put it in two sleeves. Take his money, fuck that kid. Use trade credit anyway. <laughs> That's not real money. You don't get a real game. Well, they gave me these, so thank you for these at least. Hopefully the next couple packages are good too. So anyway, uh, I guess I'm three for four because the black college... No, I'm actually three for five because one black college football was fucked up and one wasn't and... Twin Snakes was fucked up, but the other two weren't. So, yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you, and goodbye.